I'm enamored by the, the initial planning of a project. The idea of going through all the processes, consolidating and spacing everything out so it works, so it's functional in essence. I've always liked that. Building and constructing a mural or a painting. So I feel like I can construct pieces. It's not completely a solid plan. I keep it open to the organic side and the freestyle side. The piece has to speak to me, tell me what it wants to say. I like to like take and manipulate things and make them malleable and reform them. To see a large circle and a large space be so like connected and refined, like that was something I always wanted to do in my art. As an artist, as any person, you kind of just want to have your own voice. Anyone can kind of pull tape and do some stuff. It's really about how you organize it, what colors you use, how you play them off each other, and how does it, how does it relate to the space? Can you, can you see something different in that mural every time you view it? You can have this mural that kind of changes with the season, changes with the environment. That was my goal, ultimately. Consider these shapes or systems as properties or spaces, or lots of land. The placement and alignment of these systems gives a feeling of forward movement development, growth. The expansion from one system to another can be considered an abstraction of varied roadways into other neighborhoods. The abstraction of these environments gives the overall mural an identity representational over a literal LA landscape type theme. Most importantly, an identity that reflects a forward movement is represented here, but not something that is out of control. It's timeless and refreshing. 